Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Anna Madera. Welcome back to our usual Monday morning live color along. We are coloring this morning from a page in with a page from Color Along Volume 13. Scarlett and Paisley are super excited today because they missed color along. They were sick of camp. They're happy it's over. And uh, we're coloring today from uh, Color Along Volume 13. And I'm having IO IO markers. Hey, let me get the dog settled. We're going to begin shortly. from uh, Color Along Volume 13. They can also be found in my book called Dog Angels. And this morning is a, uh, unique because we are coloring with uh, IO, IO markers. I hope I'm saying that right. Does anyone know if I'm saying that right? Um, so share, share, share this Color Along out to Facebook groups because not only are we coloring with these markers this morning, but there's an opportunity for all of you to enter to win a 40 pack of these markers and I'm actually going to be using the 40 pack of markers and this is the set of markers that IOIO markers is giving away so uh, 
take a look at the color combination on this uh, set of markers. So I'm going to pop a link here in the comments so that you can go ahead and enter to win if you have not already. And let me just direct somebody to where we need to be. Where is this comment coming from? Let's get this person to go back over here. Okay, hold on a second. It's the technology, the technology, the technology. So we are using IOIO markers this morning. We're coloring in the pointillism style, which is all about dots. And you can enter to win a set of these uh, markers. You have until uh, Thursday, which is Halloween, to enter. And then the announcement for these markers, two winners, will, two people will win these. And it will be, um, it will be over by, I've got to get somebody to go back over to the, um, I've got to get somebody to come back. Hey, if you're watching this video on the, um, on the Just Color coloring group, head over to my Facebook page and watch, watch at that page because I can't, no, coloring in the if point. you make a comment on the Facebook, on the Facebook group, I can't comment back in the comment section. Does that make sense? So I know that Sharon is watching from the Facebook uh, coloring page. Sharon, are you watching from that page? Head over to my Facebook page and that link that I popped over there. Um, if, you're, if you do not have IOIO markers, uh, you can use any marker you would like because it's just all about the technique today um, and of course the coolness because we can enter to win a set of these markers. So awesome, awesome, awesome. These are a 40 pack of markers and they have a really, really nice range of colors, as you can see by the tip of the markers. They all have names on them. Love when a marker has the names on them like that. And the cool part about these markers is that um, one tip is a fine point, and the other tip is a broad point. And all I can say about these markers is this. Um, when I was in art school, I would go to the art supply store once a week and I would buy a marker like this. I would buy Beryl Prismacolor markers. They don't make those anymore. Um, and I would buy one at a time because they were like two bucks. Oh good, Sharon's here. Okay. Thanks Sharon. Sorry about that. <laughs> I had to redirect Sharon to get over to the right spot. I had to tell her, you know, you know what they say, Sharon, take a right over there where the Dunkin' Donuts used to be next to the mall that used to be, but is now a restaurant. It's a thing that happens in this in Rhode Island. We t we give directions in the way that um, Sharon's probably laughing right now. But we give directions like um, someone asks you to go somewhere, and we don't say uh, we don't give directions in car in present day. We give directions like um, just like I just described it actually. Right, Sharon? We give directions like uh, you know take a left at the street where Dunkin' Donuts used to be that is now like a Thai restaurant. Um, so you have to have lived here all this time. You have to have like been familiar with the, with the, with the landscape, been familiar with all of the different places. Uh, uh, Melody is on her way to babysit Mary Ann's babysitting. So let's say good morning to everyone. Yes, the directions are confusing and I have no sense of direction. I know you're laughing, Sharon. I know you're laughing. You know, Sharon and I know each other in the uh, real world and we spend time together uh, on a weekly basis, so it's always fun when somebody uh, joins a color along that I actually know in off know like in the real world, right? It's kind of fun. Okay, so let's uh, let's stop talking about these crazy directions before people are really confused, and let's talk about saying good morning to everyone. So good morning, Judy. Good morning, Melody. Hey, Diana, how's it going, my friend? Christina Love has joined us. This uh, color along should also be shared on um, the. IO IO Coloring Addicts Facebook page, I believe, group or page. Um, Alice has joined us this morning. Good morning, Sandra. Hey, Trish, what's going on, my friend? Lynn Miller's here with us this morning. Uh, Alice, good morning. Heather Berger, what's happening? Pam has joined us this morning. Bonnie Hughes is here with us this morning. These are all our campers, all the campers. Um, it was weird waking up yesterday morning without coloring camp. Julie, Mo Julie Rhodes has joined us this morning. Maybe Omana, how are you, my friend Omana? I have some stuff I need to get to you, Omana. Chris Costelli, what's going on? And Mamie Hickstead. I don't know if anyone else is here that I have might have missed. Or turn at the big palm tree on your roof. But if the palm tree is not there anymore, right? We don't have Long John Silver's here, Judy. I don't think so, anyway. Um, we don't have palm trees either, so 
We just have, you know, the tree with all the funky leaves, all the nice color leaves. Scarlet and Paisley, are you happy that now we have a color long happening? You missed it yesterday, didn't you? Coloring camp ended on Saturday, so we didn't have camp. We didn't have a live video yesterday. And I think that they were like, what is happening? I'm going to get them a camp cookie, so hang on one second. the burning question that everyone has been asking me uh, since I've got these markers because I am uh, I am very, very uh, grateful that IO IO Markers sent me a 40-pack and an 80-pack. They sent me both uh, to use live. So the burning question, how do they smell? Do they stink? <laughs> Is there an odor? Do I need to wear a mask while I'm doing, while I'm using these? Uh, will I be able to open my eyes when I'm done? And I am here to tell you, usually I have a problem with the, with um, a marker and its odor. And I'm, I'm very, very vocal about that. However, these have a little bit of an odor. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm okay with using them when I am not talking. So I don't know how I'm going to do with, with while I'm talking because that becomes more of a problem. So typically when you're, when you're coloring, you're not talking, right? So we're going to see how we do. So I'm going to actually color some of this uh, page with just a solid color. I'm going to start here with the dog's beard, his little mustache, I guess. Uh, the color that I'm using right now is called Melon Yellow. And yes, they do bleed through. So pop a piece of paper behind your paper, I have, behind your page. I have a, um, a piece of cardstock back there. So what I want to talk about while we're doing this is let's talk about the um, about pointillism. So pointillism is all about dots. And if you have a copy of, which I guess I should open that page, right? Let's open that page because that will uh, kind of explain. It means I've got to get up. Let me get that book, actually. Thank you for sharing that, Melody and Judy. I appreciate it, my friends. So if you have a copy of uh, The Coloring Handbook, Volume 1, you can refer over to that book, and you can go to page, where is it? I think a lot of times during Color Along going forward, we're going to be doing this type of thing, uh, kind of referring over to some of the, the tutorials that are in these books. So if you go over to page 34 um, in this book, This will give you a, a kind of a, a um, what are they, do they call it a primer? Primer, right? Like a, a little like introduction type thing to uh, pointillism. And pointillism is really all about using dots to either blend colors or blur, uh, shade or uh, create shadows and create shading. And there's some different examples here. There's a little blurb here about kind of explaining about the pointillism technique, which is really about painting, but you can also use it in drawing. Um, it is not about just making, uh, when, in, as far as pointillism is concerned, it's not about just making dots to uh, embellish. That would be something like, um, like stippling. So it's not really about doing that. It's more about actually making um, some shadows and some shading. So I'm just going to give this guy a cool gray nose because it looks like he needs cool gray. Have you tried these markers, Amana? So there's kind of a cool gray, kind of a dark thing going on. Because they're alcohol markers, you can also blend them. So that's kind of cool. And I guess this guy looks a little funky to me, so I'm going to give him uh, this French vermilion color for his hair. Because he's fantasy. Imagine having a dog that had these colors. That would be hysterical, actually. But please don't color your dog's hair to make him these colors. You know, we don't want to do that to our doggies. But it would be funny if dogs actually came in colors like this. You know what? More people would own dogs if they were pink. So I'm giving this guy just kind of a solid color. 
uh, hair, fur, you know, that type of thing. And now I'm going to work on his clothing. I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a pink, a pink lip though, right here. Sometimes, sometimes Scarlett will close her mouth and you'll get to see that like little pink lip that she's got going on over there. You're a Copic girl? I've, I've never tried Copics. Can you believe it? Somebody needs to send me Copics. All right, so I've got this blue color. This is baby blue. Not really baby to me. And I am just going to add dots along the bottom. So let's think of it this way. If you were going to be colored, coloring this with colored pencils, you would shade, and you wanted this to kind of be darker at the bottom, you would do a heavy pressure at the bottom, and as you went up towards his chin, you would put, you would actually start to lighten up on your pressure so it would get lighter. So do the same type of thing with the dots. The closer that they are together, the denser the dots are, then the darker the color will look. The further apart they are, then the lighter the color will look. So I'm going to color the bottom part of his dress with closer dots, make them closer together. And then as I go up, kind of, I'm going to gradually start to make them get further and further apart. And we're going to do a few different examples of what to do with pointillism and how to color a page like this during this color along. So we've got, and we've got a lot of people here today with us this morning that are dot maniacs, dot fanatics. Lynn Miller colors a lot with dots. I don't know if Kimberly uh, Rumier is here with us this morning, but she really does a lot with dots. Um, Alice, do you use dots a lot? I know you're into texture. You're all about texture, but not really. Dots, have I missed anything with the dots? Now I'm going to get further and further and further apart. So as I gradually get further apart, it'll look like it's lighter. So similar to Impressionism, we did that at camp actually on Saturday. Similar to Impressionism, the further away you get, then the, the further apart it would, the, the, the less blurry it will look. You know, does that make sense, you guys? So now I'm going to take this pink color, which is called, what is this called? Azalea purple. Interesting. The names are cool. And I'm just going to color the hearts on his dress. Because he's just kind of a little dog angel. I'm going to kind of give him the a little, just a little bit of pink on there. So you could color the whole thing with dots, or you could just kind of accentuate the dots. Let's go with a yellow color for the, this one is called Lemon. And I'm just going to use some lemon yellow on the wings to kind of make them look like I don't know I guess like gold what color are the wings that your dog angels wear my dog angels look like they have like a, a shimmery color you know hey good morning Karen well Alice will say Omana do you have a link to you can share where you buy your Copics oh that's a good idea you know, Amana has a group, uh, a Learn to Draw Facebook group. Amana, you should pop the link in that, in here. Um, and a lot of times, Amana will go live and she will uh, compare products. Like, you were comparing um, uh, Sakura uh, Micron, Pigma Micron pens to some other brand that you had bought. I thought that was interesting. Judy says she likes to put dots on bigger areas. And... Uh, Alice is saying that she likes to put dots to accentuate the page or to embellish or accent. And there's so many different ways that you can use dots. You know, there's just a lot of different things you can actually do with it. I'm going to treat, try to use every color in my box here. Transparent with sparkles. I think my dog's wings are transparent with sparkles too. Here's a cool color. This is... Um, yellow green now this is the one that the other day i was using it and i said to myself this doesn't look like yellow green to me but if it says it's yellow green then it's yellow green right so if i colored this section green here then i could go back over with maybe i could even go back over it with black if i wanted to and like alice was saying she likes to accentuate with the dots so I could actually kind of pop these little dots there to kind of make it look like a little bit of a calico print type thing, right? The other thing that this set has in it, this IUI Omakras, is it has this drawing pen in it, 
which I've been using a little bit. And since we have, since I can use it today, I'll use it. Um, it has this white gel pen in it. So this is um, pretty cool. Let's see how this works. So I can use my white gel pen, just kind of, maybe I can put a little bit of a white little uh, accent on his nose, you know, where the, the light is shining. My little camera keeps moving today. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm gonna make this one black and I'm gonna put white on it, on this section here. But I just kind of play around with different colors. Maybe three different colors for these. That would be kind of cool. Make a pattern. Hey, Jason. Hey, Alexandria. Dawn is here with us this morning. Good morning, Dawn. So we ended camp on Saturday, and uh, everyone wanted to know, how was camp? How was camp? And we had a great time, you guys. Don't you think? For everyone that was at camp, the next one is already being planned. I've already planned it. I'm already planning it in my head. <coughs> What happened to my green? I thought I had a green somewhere, didn't I? Vivid yellow. This is my yellow green color. I'm gonna go with um, with this color here. Now, one thing you can do when you use the markers too is do if you're afraid you're gonna go out of the lines, use the um, Use the marker uh, so it is close to the edge. Like kind of make a little line right there and then the marker will magically stay within the line. And then I'm going to take my black. It was a lot of fun, it was, I agree with you, Chris. Did it feel weird yesterday to kind of not have camp to wake up to. We had a lot of giveaways. Okay, and then since I have my white pen, let's go with this. Good flow of the ink on this white pen, by the way. Kind of funky and I think I'll take some orange because I'm in the Halloween mood thanks Alice Alice says she really enjoyed camp I did too this is marigold I did too it was a lot of fun and for this one I'm going to kind of do dot close 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 as I get into the closer areas and then as I come out to this bigger area I'm going to to make it further and further apart close 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 here the proximity of the dots and then do further apart and then close close here you can kind of get a rhythm going i don't count the dots i remember there was a couple of people that used to get um i remember saying that they counted the dots So further apart as we go closer to that open section. Same thing over here. And then again over here. And then I'm gonna actually pop in a different color for this. Let's throw in some pink. So I've got this uh, azalea pink again, darker color here, number 87. And I'm gonna put that together. Now the further, the, the more you press down, then the more it will actually start to, uh, the bigger the dot will be. So I don't know why this is, but then this tip is a little, is harder than the, than the orange one, than that marigold color. I have no time for counting the dots either, Alice. I agree with you. I'm going to have to count anything. It's going to be the million dollars in my checkbook, right? When you go to the bank and take out all of the money. Okay. I say that all the time, but I'm going to do that. 
was laughed at the other day when I said that. That when I'm a millionaire, I'm going to go to the bank and take out a million dollars and stand there and count it in ones. And I was laughed at. And I said, don't laugh. You're going to be laughing when you're standing next to me. And I'm asking you to recount that stack of $100 bills. Okay. So now closer, 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 closer. Further apart. Closer, closer, closer. Do you get the gist here? Okay, Omana. Omana, I always, I never, I don't really always remember that you have that many kids. How many kids do you have? Three? Little, right? I wonder what little kids think of people that, of, of moms that are on the, like when this computer era, like the, 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 you know, you've got other, you're looking at the computer, you're changing a kid. I wonder what they're thinking. Hey, Jamie. Is Beth Turner here this morning? Beth Turner's here. Wow, you have three. How old are they, Amana? We never usually have people that have little kids that are watching, right? One, two, and six. You are busy. Wouldn't you all say? She is busy. Okay, so see how that kind of looked looked like that? Now let's give it the ground. And for the ground, I think I'm just going to go with dirt. Now, I have not used my broad tip, which I could. See the corner of the broad tip could easily be used. And what I'm going to do for the, for the dirt down here is I think I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow in with this with the dots. Now, by putting these different colors... Once you pull your, like you hold this further away and further far away, then it will, um, then you will be able to kind of see the colors merge together and be almost create a new color. Alisa, she is here. She is from Iowa Omakras. Hey, Alisa. I hope I'm saying this correctly. Am I pronouncing these markers correctly? And I, Elisa is here from China, actually. Thank you. Hey, these markers are really cool, Elisa. I, um, I started talking about these markers at the beginning of this color along, and I have to tell you something. I am uh, really against using markers that have an odor, and a lot of times I won't use an alcohol marker because the odor is just too strong, and these are not really bothering me at all. The only thing I will say, Elisa, is that usually when you color, usually color, um, I don't, is this the animation set? Is the 40 pack the animation set, set, Alyssa? I think so. It looks like this. It's, this is the case. So don't forget, there's a link that you can go over and you can enter to win a, win a set of these. You have until um, Thursday, Halloween. I figured it would be kind of a cool way to remember it. This one is called medium yellow, and I'm mixing this in with my dirt because this is the ground. <clears throat> okay. So my concern, I'm going to tell you though, Alyssa, my concern, I'm not going to lie to you here, I'm not going to completely lie to you, is that because I am talking, <laughs> you, typically you don't use markers while you're talking, right? You're not like talking as much as I am right now. So I'm going to try not to talk as much so that this, what, there is a little bit of an odor, there's not a zero odor, okay? But I want to make sure that I don't have, work, break out into like an asthma attack or something. Cause that would be crazy. I would hit the cancel button, right? Does that make sense, Alyssa? Yeah. All right, so now I've got this uh, color. It's just called orange, and I'm going to give it an orange color here in the middle here. What's cool about these markers too is that they go on one color, and if you let them dry, they start to get a little bit darker. Look how much darker that is compared to when I first put the color down. All 
right, let's see what other color we're going to add onto here. I love the white, the white pen. The white pen is awesome. Of course, I've got to add a little bit of a white dot in his eyeballs. So we can kind of really see it. And then for behind, the behind, the behind, right? Let's add, um, let's add some dots on this guy. So I'm going to add these blue dots on the thicker line that's there. Somebody's going to answer their pants. What's the matter, you guys? You girls have to go outside? Hey, Abby. You don't have orange in yours, Jamie? <coughs> Jamie, you're always missing something. Okay, I'm going to let Paisley. Paisley, I'm checking that. Paisley, I'm checking Alyssa, I have uh, used these kind of markers for a very long time. As a matter of fact, I was saying when I first started that uh, when I was in art school, I would go to the art supply store every week and I would buy one marker of Beryl Prismacolor marker that was similar to this, but they don't make them anymore. And when you sent me that pack, I was just like, oh my God, it's a whole pack. It's a whole set. So I'm very grateful for this, the markers that you sent. They're amazing. So just adding this blue color to these bigger, see those thicker ones? And then, is there a purple in here? Hmm. Well, let's do some sort of a contrast, at least, with vermilion. And... We'll do every other with vermilion. See if I can concentrate. Jamie. Jamie's saying that she the, the the colors. Maybe you have the wrong. Maybe you bought the set, a set that you're not that that shouldn't be the set you bought. But don't forget, you can mix the colors too. If I've got markers for free, I would be happy with it with all a set of all black, you know. Okay, so I've got all of these colors here. Still adding this vermilion color. Kind of gets you into a rhythm, doesn't it? All we need is blasting music playing. 
I know we're all singing in our heads, right? I've had that Ed Sharon song stuck in my head all day today. Perfect. Oh, I hate when that happens. In my head, it's a whole concert playing. And then I try to sing it and I'm like, what the heck are the words? Oh, okay, Jamie. All right, so now, Oman is saying, I remember burning through art supplies back in the day. Man, art school was pricey. Um, oh, we're going to do this one. Yeah. But Omana, I got to tell you, you, I'm a lot older than you. And when I went to art school, it was funny. Now, when I think back on it now, I kind of laugh because it was kind of funny that we didn't have, um, we had a local art supply store. And instead of having, um, oh, this one is called uh, Pastel Yellow. Instead of having um, a credit card, or like we had like what we called like Scarlet's barking at the squeak of the marker. Oh dear heavens! Um, it's like barking at her own tail. Um, we had house accounts. Scarlet, that's the marker you're barking at. the marker because the dogs will go nuts all right now we've got this top section here there are a lot of greens in this set actually but i like them hey good morning alexandria come here scholar it's just the marker let me show you come here come here it's fine all right so this one is called putty and i'm gonna see if i can try what Alyssa did on a video where you merge them together do you think that'll work Alyssa? If I do that, I don't know. Girls, if you're barking at the squeak of a marker, come over here. It is all good. It's fine. It's fine, Paisley. It's okay. It's okay. She's fine. It's okay. Come over here and I'll show you. This one is called Putty. I want to try what uh, Alyssa had seen, what there was a video where you kind of uh, touch the tips together, but I don't want to, I don't want to, um, I don't want to do it wrong while I'm live. So I want to practice before I make my tip touching debut, right? I like the fine tip rather than the broad tip, no matter how big the area is. I don't know why. And I'm coloring directly in the book, too, so I'm using just regular paper. Beth has a great question for Alyssa about the different sets and do the colors overlap at all. And I know what Beth means by this. Um, so for example, Black Widow colored pencils have a piece of hair in my mouth. Black Widow colored pencils um, have a whole set, have uh, five different sets, and the colors do not overlap. So you could easily buy all five sets of Black Widow pencils, and you would just have um, how many pencils? 72 uh, times 3 plus 48, I believe, right? Or oh, plus 24. Somebody do the math. I don't know. So is it like that with these markers? These markers are squeaked and my kids keep looking over my shoulder and asking me what I'm watching. Yeah, my dogs are like, what the heck is that noise? They're very squeaky, I know. 
These are not, you cannot color, like, you know, secretly color. You can't be like, oh, I'm just going to go color secretly. And then this is a cool color. This is uh, wine red. Abby's saying the colors do overlap. I'm just going to kind of use wine red in this corner here. Kind of like we did down here. And then I'm going to go up further, up high. Same thing here. Further apart. So it looks like there's like, you know, a glass of wine that's been filled. And somebody drank it. This is all that's left. Wow, 24 people watching so far. Share, share, share this video, you guys. Share it out to different Facebook groups. Get it out on your Facebook page. Let everyone know about these awesome, awesome, awesome markers. And, of course, my coloring books would be good, too, right? Um, I'm working on a new book, actually. Just started it last night. I'm going to be kind of quiet about what it's about. I haven't actually come out with a coloring book in a while. When was my last coloring book? Happy Words, maybe? Square Chains? This is going to be much more detailed, uh, illustrated coloring book. So stay tuned for that. It's a pretty color, isn't it? It would be good for lips. You're right, Jamie. That would be good for lips. Don't try that at home, right? Don't do that. Here's a cool color. This one's called Pale Green. And I'm going to make... Uh, these dots, some of them pale green, or these bubbles or circles. I'm trying to use every color that's in here. This is a cool color. This is called uh, terracotta. Squeaky, squeaky, right? Uh, this is called lime green. You know, a lot of uh, coloring supplies, whether it's pencils or pens or um, tend to have a lot of greens and a lot of blues. Okay, let's pop in some carmine, which is red. Hey, Donna. Thank you for sharing that, Karen. Because the coolest part about this call along today is that if you go over to the link that's posted in the comment section, you can win a set of these markers. Um, it's on my website. It takes you to my website, actually. And um, two people will win a set, a 40-pack of these markers, which are the ones that I'm using today. I mean, not the actual set. Alyssa is going to send out something, send out a set to another person. I mean, send out a, a brand new set to somebody. some blue in this top section right in here Scarlett what's wrong babe doesn't it kind of look like um it looks like confetti up there kind of looks like a potty this is called brick brown and oh this is a cool one we haven't used this this is peacock Scarlett what's wrong baby come here I don't see the link, Alana, but I'll look for it. Here, take this 
kind of a cool color, this peacock green color. They also come with this cool little uh, little booklet that you can swatch your colors. If you want to get more colors, I recommend the Animation 80 Color Marker Set, Elisa is saying. <clears throat> If you want to pop some links to the actual markers on Amazon for the 80 pack and the um, the 40 pack or whatever other set you want to pop a link on, please feel free to do so. So now I'm going to take uh, the drawing pen that came with this because I love this drawing pen. I just am always looking for one that's a bigger tip like um, we talked about, Elisa. And um, I'm just going to kind of maybe I'm going to put some swirls in here. some little swirls hey Lynn Lynn is listening from her car it always cracks me up when people are listening from their car Or other places when people tell me that they're in other places that I'm not going to say while I'm doing, say, on camera here. But interesting places. So this is really an easy way to color something if you really just kind of want to do something quick and get a completely different effect uh, using this pointillism technique. You could use this with... Um, you could use this easily use this with uh, colored pencils you could use it with markers like we did today or you can go ahead and use it with um, gel pens too so that's pretty cool so I'm just gonna go back in a little bit with my white pen because I love this white pen that came with this Alyssa this is my favorite part of the whole thing and I'm gonna add a little bit of this kind of little you know a little white mark on the side so it makes it look like these are bubbles I'm excited about this white pen you should sell these Alyssa, you should sell these white pens, let me tell you. Because I bet when people start using these white gel pens, um, in that it comes with the set, I bet they're going to want to get more of them. And then we've got this little section here that's down here. Um, I've left this white, but I think I am going to go in and maybe just add some yellow. Lemon yellow is the color here. Very Art Nouveau, this set of colors here, green, yellow, and black, isn't it? They are really nice, aren't they? See, Abby agrees with me about the, the white. I'm telling you, Alyssa. Some of them squeak and some of them do not. I just think that that's, that's common, right, but to happen. And then maybe I can put some white on here. A little bit. The ink flows really good with the white. You can buy the white gel pen anywhere. On Amazon, they have tons of them, tons of different brands. A lot of times I use that um, correction pen. It has like ink that comes out of it in the white, like the whiteness that comes out of the correction pen. Okay. 
So my page is complete with my IOIO markers. And the, they have this cool little, I mean, this is the 40 pack, and this is the set that you can enter to win. A beautiful little case that it comes in, this nice little zipper case. It reminds me of Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I mean, I, maybe that's a stretch, but uh, it's, I don't know what it is. There's something about it. And it looks like lipstick on the outside, but it's not. Um, this is uh, the student set. This is the student set, Jamie, to answer Jamie's question from, a, from earlier. But look at the wonderful set of colors. And I'm going to pop these back in here so you can kind of see uh, what the colors are for all of these markers. And I don't put them in any, any particular order. But very, very cool. So hopefully Alyssa is popping a link here in the comments uh, to the IOIO. Am I saying that right, by the way? Am I pronouncing it right? IOIO marker store on Amazon. So you can say, take a look at these markers. Um, but I'm definitely going to be using these in the future. What I really would like to do with them, actually, I'm thinking of drawing a coloring book with them. But I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to test out drawing a few different things. Maybe a grayscale illustration coloring book would be cool to draw with this. Um, because I did color something with this um, last week. And then I turned it into, I got rid of the color. And it made a really interesting grayscale illustration coloring page. So I thought it was very, very interesting uh, the way it came out. And then I have my two draw, my drawing pen and my white marker, but my white gel pen. But I don't put it back in the case because I've been using those. So... Um, yeah, definitely, uh, this is the student set. And then, do you want me to show the 80 pack too? Let me show the 80 pack. Let's see if I can step over, uh, two furry dog friends that are on the floor here, creating the carpet. Watch out, you guys. No, just stay where you are. Don't want to disrupt the dog. Right, Scarlett? You know what they say. How did you break your leg? Well, I didn't want to step on my dog, right? So, okay. So this one is the 80 pack, and this one is called the animation set. So let's pop this open, and you can see the colors that are on here. This has white. The other one does not. Interesting. So this one has a white also. So let's take a look at the colors that are in this. This has French Vermilion. There are some overlaps. This has cool gray, uh, royal blue. What's this one? Cerulean blue, turquoise green, white. Interesting names. The names are interesting to me. I always want to be the person who names the colors. How did you come up with the names? Uh, pale pink. Uh, this one is called skin white. Interesting. Uh, brick brown. I think brick brown was in the other one. Palm lilac. Oh, wait. Pale lilac. Pale blue. The, the uh, light is creating a glare. I can't really see the names. Sky blue. And this is pale sky blue. Peach. These are in the order that they were. Black, vermilion, white, which is called um, spect oh no, this is called Spectrum Green. Where's my head? Sorry about that. Spectrum Green. I, like my, I take that back. This does not have white. Interesting that it looks like white though. Um, French Green, Pale Yellow, Deep Red, Fruit Pink. Cool name for that. Fruit Pink, Marine Blue, Dark Blue Light, Coral pink, mint green, terracotta, that was in the other set, um, light orange, sand, blue gray, green, I thought that said green rice, green, green bice, what is that? I'm confused about that one. Um, warm gray, cream, salmon pink, Pastel Violet Marigold. Can we see what I'm doing here? Probably not, right? No one's even saying anything. Vivid Pink. <laughs> you couldn't even see those colors that I was picking up. Brown. My camera is just not cooperating today. Sounds like some birthday and or Christmas present me in December. When is your birthday, Trish? Are you like a Christmas baby? Here is Turquoise Blue. And it just goes on and on. There's 80 colors in this set. This is the animation set. And again, it has the... Um, the 
little booklet with the colors here that you can go in and you can swatch your colors. I like that the swatch booklet has um, has the numbers next to it. That's really cool. So, and it has some different tips uh, for using marker pens. And that's important to know about that these are marker pens. And what's different about a marker versus a marker pen, I'm going to give you my educated, my, uh, my uh, professional artist <laughs> opinion about that. Maybe I'm wrong, Alyssa, so tell me. Um, is that when you use a marker, sometimes the, the, the ink will kind of pull up together and it'll kind of clump together and you, it won't be smooth. But when you're using an alcohol marker or something that's called a marker pen, it gives a much more smoother um, coverage. Does that make sense? These are a great choice, choice for a gift, actually. Uh, but this has a really interesting... Um, uh, th I'm glad that there's this tip on here. Smooth, flat colors. You can produce the effect of smooth coloring by using the marker pen smoothly and flicking, as well as trying not to overlay, e overlay each line. So, and we'll, we can go over all of these different things as we do future color longs, too. You're kind of a Christmas baby, Trish, right? This is a great choice for a gift. So... Um, these are available on Amazon, and um, Alyssa has popped the, uh, she's posted the link to the Amazon store for IOIO markers. Um, I want to talk about the book that this page, is, page can also be found in. This book, um, this page that, that we did today is from Dog Angels Coloring Book, and this is my Dog Angels Coloring Book for All. And um, although the cover is in this direction, the book actually does get flipped around a little bit. So it has all of these pages. So it's drawn kind of in the frenzy view style. And it's got the little, every do page has a little dog character on it, dressed as an angel with a little dress and some wings. You should just get both, Abby. Right? I like the 80 set. See? Just get them all. That's a lot of, a lot of markers, isn't it? Um, and then behind it, it has all of these divider lines, like I like to call them, and it has all of the type, the frenzy or view style uh, drawing. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you so much for sending me these markers, by the way. They're really, really nice. I love them. I will be using them in future color alongs. I'll be using them in my own coloring. Um, and feel free to uh, to post a link to them to the to your Amazon store for IOIO markers in the Just Color Coloring Group in my coloring group also that would be a great idea over there, um, and you everyone has until Thursday which is Halloween to enter to win a set of these. So there's going to be two winners and the winners will be announced on Friday November first. Right? Yep. Friday November first. So this is the page that this uh, book is from. This is the book this page is from, from Dog Angel. Hey, any questions about uh, what we did today, pointillism, um, uh, coloring with these markers? Uh, we're going to talk about what's happening with color along going forward. We've got today, uh, we did pointillism, and we are moving on to textures next week. So... Um, the next color along will be, we already did chalk, chalk pastels, and we already did pointillism today. Now, what will happen is that once this video is over, you'll be able to watch um, the replay. I'm going to give it, where do we enter? Let me see if I can uh, find the link again. Okay, there we go. So there's the link right there to enter to win a set of these. So um, you'll be able to watch the replay here on my Facebook page. This Color One Volume 13 just just started. So if you want to get this book, you can still get this book. We're working on this book until March 16th. So we've got a long time to spend together uh, with this book. 22 color alongs. And every Monday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Replays are always available. And then if you go to my website and you click on Learn, you can click on Color Alongs and you'll find uh, a link to the Color Along Variety Book Volume 13 page on my website. And it will have a link to all of these videos. Uh, in 48 hours after the video, after the Color Along ends, the Color Along video replay will be available on YouTube also. So that will give everyone the opportunity to watch the replay from the comfort of their couch or their recliner and not have to worry about watching it only from a computer or from their little teeny tiny phone um, so you can watch it on your big screen TV. So I'm doing that um, so that we can make it easier for people to watch the replays. And that's about it. So Color Along today, pointillism. Next week we're working on textures. 
And then on Monday, the 11th of November, we'll be working on cubism. So let's take a look at the textures page. Hey, check out the bleed through. That's kind of funny, huh? The textures page, and what am I using for a medium that day? I don't know what I'm using for that. If you take a look at the my Facebook page, you'll find the November calendar. I think we're going to use colored pencils on this um, and create some textures with some different things, maybe some tape, uh, some crumpled aluminum foil, that type of thing. Um, on this page here for... Uh, for cubism, for glowing candles, from the glowing candles book, we'll be using a mixed medium, uh, mixed media page on this one. I kind of wait until the end to decide what the what the medium is going to be. Hey, Lois, haven't seen you in a while. Hey, you're welcome, Julie. All right, my friends, I will see everyone on um, next Monday for the next color along. In the meantime, though, I actually do have a color along on November second this week. At, this week which is Saturday and one on Sunday. Saturday, I'm coloring for Dawn Boyer from her book, Med Mystical, Magical Mandalas and Fun, Fantastic Floral, Volume 2. Dawn is, Dawn is testing me with that with the titles. And then on the 3rd, I'm coloring, on Sunday, I'm coloring from Zenia Zilli's book, Old Timer Cars, Book 1. There'll be free pages from those. Um, Dawn will be giving away a book. And, I mean, this color belongs pretty much every Sunday. Excuse me for the rest of the um, for the rest of the the month of for, well for the month of November. Alyssa saying I learned a lot of coloring skills from your live. Thank you very much, Ann. Hey, thank you so much, Alyssa. This is great. Um, anytime, and I mean you can definitely um, you know you know what's interesting too is that you can whatever technique you use with whatever medium you can always apply that same technique with another medium. So if I'm doing something with colored pencils or gel pens or something. It certainly is a way for you to just use that with these markers, even if you didn't use them with them, with them, even if I was not using those. Does that make sense? So, hey Sharon, thanks, thanks so much for watching. Thanks Melody, thanks Lois. Good to see you. Hope you feel better. Hey Karen, thanks so much. All right, so I will, I'm going to sign off, and I will see everyone soon. Thanks for joining me today.